Have you been drinking the same coffee for so long that you can't even taste it anymore? Are you tired of spending $15 on a bag of coffee that you don't even like? Then this coffee show is for you. Welcome back to the Bracketology of Coffee. This is Season 4, Round 2. This season, we're doing a state-to-state -state competition where the ro uh, roasters will be representing the state they're located in. So, let me introduce today's competitors. First off, we have Joe Coffee. They are located in Minnesota. This uh, coffee is called Morning Joe Breakfast Blend. The origin is unknown which I typically consider a negative, but this coffee company actually does use professional cu uh, cuppers, which is a very much a positive, so we'll have to see how that plays out in this competition. This 12 ounce bag goes for $11.49. This is a medium roast, and they ranked number four in my brackets. They are going up against the Vermont Coffee Company, obviously located in Vermont. This bag is called the Organic Light. The origin, uh, the website just says, comes from the great coffee growing regions around the world, which is obviously not very specific. It actually came whole beans, so I had to grind it at the local coffee shop. This 16 ounce bag goes for $10.49. This is a light roast, and they ranked number five in my brackets. Let me tell you how this competition works. The coffees are prepared in a French press. The recipe I use is one tablespoon of coffee grounds for every five ounces of water. I steep it for four minutes, let it cool off for three minutes after that. The competition consists of two halves. In the first half, I drink the coffees black, fresh out of the French press, and in the second half, I add some cream. I score each round out of 100, allowing for a maximum possible score of 200 points. Let me get this coffee brewing and I'll be right back. Alright, coffee is done brewing. I'm letting it cool off for a few minutes. Just a couple of quick side notes before we get started. First off, I wanted to thank Eddie at Le Bistro Coffee and Waffle Bar in Alexandria, Louisiana. He was actually the guy who ground these coffee beans for me this morning. I went to maybe three other places before that and kept on striking out, so his help was much appreciated. Second, I am not a super taster. 25% of the population is thought to be a super taster. I consider myself an average taster. What I look for in coffee is drinkability, something that is smooth and flavorful with a pleasing aftertaste. So I'm really excited for both of these coffees. Um, the Joe Coffee, uh, any coffee company that uses cuppers really is impressive to me because it means that the quality and flavor are at the forefront of the mission of the company and the Vermont Coffee Company was recommended to me by my cousin Dave out in Vermont so they serve it at a local cafe where he lives so I'm pretty excited to try that one as well but I'm gonna go ahead and put some coffee tips on the screen for you as you can see I'm coming to you from my pop-up camper this week I'm camping in central Louisiana at a place called Hidden Treasure RV Resort it is humid. Check out my skin. It's glowing. <laughs> but um, I love exploring and I love checking out new trails and all that kind of stuff on my outdoor show. I went to the zoo the other day. That was awesome. So I've got one more week here before I move on to Gulf Shores, Alabama. And we've got a couple of rainy days. So I'm going to do a couple of coffee episodes this week. So the way this works, I taste the coffees twice. First taste, I'm just getting an overview. And on the second taste, I'll give them a score. So Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this Joe Coffee, located in Minnesota. Mm. 
getting some good flavors out of that. This, um, so the coffee cuppers, what they are, they're probably super tasters, and they can pick pick out specific flavors or hints of flavors that they're getting within the coffee. It's not a flavored coffee, it's just natural flavors that they're tasting. So this is what they caught out of this blend here. Apricot, honey, uh, crisp lemon with a clean finish. So it'll be interesting. That's why I taste them twice, because it does taste take me a little bit longer to pick up on some of those flavors, but my first impression is that that's very drinkable. So. Now let's go ahead and drink this uh, Vermont Coffee Company, their light roast. I'm a huge fan of the light roast coffee these days. Also a huge fan of the Ethiopian coffees these days. So in case you were wondering what I'm, what my preference is, but let's go ahead and get a taste on this Vermont Coffee Company. really good. Their website seemed to be centered around these bold flavors and dark roasts and blah 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 which I don't care for the dark roast but so I was interested to see how how well they were able to roast a light roast and it does taste really good actually so they didn't really call out any flavors on here and they didn't really specify the region that the beans come from but um, so let's go ahead and get a score on this Joe coffee from Minnesota. I mean, I gotta tell you, I'm not getting any of these flavors that they're calling out on the bag. And it kind of has, uh, I've mentioned this before, you know, some of these coffee companies that mass produce their coffees back in the day it used to be Folgers and Maxwell House. They had a specific flavor about it, almost an artificial type of flavor. It's unfortunate to say, but I, it's kind of what I'm catching on that. Um, now when I add cream to it, it might completely flip-flop. It might be totally awesome, but it's just my, it's just what I'm picking up on, and that's my first impression. So needless to say, um, I'm going to start them off with an 84. Not a super high score, but we'll see what happens in the next round. So let's get a score on this uh, light roast from Vermont Coffee Company. No artificial flavors whatsoever. Um, I can definitely tell it's a light roast. Not getting a ton of flavor, but the flavor that is there is is pretty tasty. So let's go ahead and give them a 90. All right, I'm gonna pause the video for just a minute, add some half and half, and we will be back for the second half of this competition. Don't go anywhere. for the second half of this competition. This is probably my favorite part of the whole competition because the half and half cools the coffee down just a little bit, adds a little bit of fat to the coffee, which allows me to just taste the flavors probably tenfold. So uh, same thing, I'm gonna taste them twice. First taste, just getting an overview, and the second taste, I'll give them a score. Let's go ahead and start with this Joe Coffee from Minnesota. So the artificial flavor that I was tasting has gone away, but any other flavors just seem to be non-existent. So we'll see what I pick up on the second taste, but for now, uh, actually not too impressed with that. But let's go ahead and get an overview 
on this light roast from Vermont Coffee Company. Mm. There is a bit of flavor on that taste. I uh, can't really pinpoint what I'm tasting, but maybe I'll catch it on the second taste. Um, it's pretty good, pretty drinkable. I'm really careful about the recommendations that I give because a lot of my friends and family do go buy the coffees that I recommend, so I'm definitely not going to recommend something just because I'm a fan of the brand or, or whatever, so I try to be very real about my scores, very real about my opinions, but let's go ahead and get a score on this Joe Coffee that is representing Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota. Almost said Minnesota. A <laughs> uh, little over caffeinated already, but let's get a score on this. Yeah, very much a middle of the road coffee for me. Probably won't be buying it again. Uh, let's give them an 87. All right, now score from the uh, Vermont Coffee Company. It is pretty good, pretty drinkable. Not a ton of flavor, to be honest with you, but like I said, the flavor that is there is is pretty pretty good. Uh, let's give them a 92. All right, give me a second to tally these results or tally these scores, and we'll be back for the results of this round two competition. Don't go anywhere. We are back to determine a winner in this Season 4 Round 2 competition. Before I give you the results, I wanted to mention something really quickly. Uh, in all my previous videos, I have been using Windows Movie Maker and Microsoft Photos to produce my videos. But in this video, I'll actually be using some something new called Camtasia that my buddy Mike recommended. So I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on... The production value of this video compared to previous videos. Uh, just leave a quick note in the comment section that would be much appreciated. Without further ado, we had Joe Coffee from Minnesota. They scored an 84 in the first half, 87 in the second half for a total of 171. I actually would not recommend this coffee. I've tasted so many coffees uh, far superior to this that I just would say um, check out my previous videos if you want a, a better recommendation. And they went up against the Light Roast from Vermont Coffee Company. They scored a 90 in the first half, 92 in the second half, for a total of 182. I would recommend this coffee. It was fairly tasty. They have a pretty good lineup of different coffees, uh, varying from light roast to like extra dark roast that you might be interested in. They do free shipping promos occasionally, so you can get free shipping. And um, they will be moving on to the next round of this competition. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time. Mm -hmm.